Hello world! It has been a minute since my last Myth or Magic video, so let's do something about that and try out this Femjoli Straightening Hairbrush. <laughs> Hey everybody, Shelly here, and today I've got another episode of Myth or Magic for you. This is a series where I try out products that have claims that seem far too good to be true. Now, I don't do this very often because most of the time they're duds. I will let Tati do all of the WTFs and the OMGs and, and all of that good stuff. But occasionally there are products that seem like they're going to solve problems that I've got and I just can't pass up the opportunity to find out if they work. So the first Myth or Magic product that I tried out was a wrinkle reducing pillowcase and I will link that video down below if you haven't seen it. Today we are going to try a hair product. Ah, my contacts. Now, as you might have picked up in previous videos, my hair is kind of curly and I don't like it that way. I grew up having straight hair my entire life. Up until I was 30 or so, my hair was straight. I never wanted it any other way. I did not complain about having straight hair. And for some reason, around the age of 30, my hair decided to get curly and that would be fine, but it's not uniformly curly. So the outer layer is still pretty straight. The under layer is super fro frizzy curly and it's just a mess. So I very often straighten my hair. I try to find products that allow me to live with my curls when it's too hot or uncomfortable to straighten my hair. And my hair is very thick, so it takes a very, very long time to go through the whole process of blow drying my hair and then straightening my hair with a flat iron, it's painful. So when I saw this brush doodad, this is the Femme Jolie straightening brush, I was like, hmm. And my first instinct, I saw it initially in CVS and my first thought was there's no way that thing works. And I saw it a few times, I saw it a few times, and I, then I finally decided to look it up on the internet, and some people on Amazon had done some demos, and I was like, it looks like it works, because I'm not looking for flat iron perfection, I just want something that will straighten my hair, for the most part, quickly, easily, yeah. So, I read a whole bunch of reviews, there are several different brands of these things, and I picked this one. In the box, when you buy this brush, you get the brush itself. You also get a drawstring carrying bag and you get a heat protectant glove. So I read the instructions and they basically say, hold the button down for three minutes, three minutes, three seconds to turn the thing on, adjust your temperature as desired, it goes from, let's see, 170 Fahrenheit through 450 degrees Fahrenheit and let it heat up and brush your hair. Now the demos that I saw on Amazon showed people doing it section by section and brushing from the underside rather than from the overside. So I will take those tips into account and we're gonna try it here. I have not tried it yet. My hair is air dried and then placed up into this messy bun. So this should be a pretty good test of this product. All right, step one says, turn it on. So here are all of the buttons. It says to hold the power button for three seconds. One, two, three. Ah. And then I can see that it is getting warmer and warmer. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. I wonder if I can make it be Fahrenheit. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> now I turned it back on. Okay, well, it's in Celsius. 
I don't know how to set it to Fahrenheit. So I'll just put it near the max of Celsius because I have pretty wiry hair that usually does take high heat to straighten. You can see the numbers climbing 44, 5, or 6, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right, let's wait for this thing to heat up. It's interesting. So the ends of the brush tips have these little rubber nodules, which are all far longer than the black brush tips. And my guess is that all the ones that have these orange nodules are the ones that are heating up. And the little orange nodule is to prevent you from touching your scalp with the brush is my guess. Cause I saw some people touching it. Oh, it's warm, but I think that's a protectant feature. Of course, you're not gonna wanna slam this into your hand, but it looks like it would be fairly safe to use and not super easy to burn yourself with it. It's at 125 Celsius right now. I don't know my Celsius conversions, so I don't know what that means. Let's consult the instructions. To switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, hold the plus minus buttons simultaneously until the display switches. It's still heating up, but maybe it'll work while it's heating up. Let's try. Ah, <laughs> totally worked. It's at 375, it's getting up there. So this really doesn't take too long to heat up. I mean, it's not instantaneous, but it's probably, it's gonna end up being what, like 90 seconds maybe, maybe two minutes. All right, official instruction countdown. Hold the hair firmly between the ceramic tips and slide the brush down the length of the hair from root to tip. Repeat as necessary. Allow the hair to cool before combing through. After use, turn it off. Blah, blah, blah. You're supposed to use this on dry hair. It is not meant to be used on wet hair, so you would have to either air dry or blow dry prior to using this product. I'm not going to spray my hair with any kind of heat protectant because I think that'll moisten it. I probably should have sprayed my hair with heat protectant before when it was damp, but I didn't realize that I was going to be doing this. So yeah. All right, it's ready. I've got it set to 437 degrees eh. Fahrenheit. Let's take this bun down, shall we? This is gonna be fun. So let's pull me, get pull me out. It does say you should brush through your hair before you use this thing. So I'm gonna brush my hair. Don't look too closely at my brush. It's such a dirty mess. You don't realize how gross your hairbrush is until someone might actually see it. So just please don't look. Oh yeah, this is far from straight. Now besides just the floofiness from having it up all day, I just wanna try and show you sort of the texture and the sort of curliness that I have going on on the underside. So it's, it's pretty, it's a dry, really sort of tight curls, but then the upper top layer isn't super curly at all. It's got a little wave to it here and there, but it's really pretty straight. So at, this is this is my hair, like this is how it is, which is really, uh. all right. So I am going to take a good chunk of this and pull it up out of the way and just work on one little layer at a time. Okay, now most of the people in the videos that I was watching on Amazon, oh, I just made it get warmer. They use the brush upward as opposed to downward. The buttons are in a really awkward position. So holding the brush, I just, I keep hitting the buttons. So be careful that you don't accidentally turn it off while you're using it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that at least once in this demo. Just for safety, I'm gonna put on my little heat glove. <laughs> yes. All right, shall we do this? Let's do this.
I think I just turned it off. Well, I pulled out some hair. No, but I did change it back to Celsius. Okay. Oh, one pass. Not so bad. I think I'm gonna have to hold my hair in it when it gets toward the bottom. Like this. Yeah. Not bad at all. Now I am noticing it's pretty hard to get right up to my scalp because the brush is just kind of big and sort of awkward. But like I said, I'm not looking for flat iron perfection here. I'm just looking for something fast. Now I can feel the warmth through my glove, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not super hot. Wow. That is pretty fast and not really frizzy. It is pulling a bunch of my hair out, but, and it is smoking. <laughs> can you see that? Yikes. All right, let's keep going. I think I have to change my glove to the other side. Okay. Hey, I'm awkward. It just, it is. It is what it is. All right. Let's see. definitely want to have your hair brushed out before you do this because if you get any tangles the iron has a harder time moving through now all the hair is stuck on my glove okay and you don't really want to get stuck while you're moving through because then you're kind of roasting your hair a little bit more than you should See, I can't get all the way up to the to the root here. But I am hella impressed right off the bat. I mean, it feels really soft too. Considering how dry my hair is. Wow. All right, let's get some more hair. It is smoking. That's a little disconcerting. It's not smoking any more than like my flat iron wood, but eh. Okay, more hair, more hair. Okay, I'm just gonna run my brush, my regular brush through this just because it does seem to, if you have any tangles, it seems to give the flat iron brush or heat styler straightener brush a little bit of difficulty so okay glove back on <laughs> wrong side okay here we go part two now I'm right by my ear and I can't really feel anything. It doesn't hurt. It's not hot. I mean, I can tell this thing is hot, but not in the areas where you're getting close to your skin or anything. I have a couple pieces of hair that are stuck in it and I think they're burning. Yeah. Oh, look at this curly mess. Not for long. Okay, the first thing that I am really impressed with is that normally with my flat iron, I have to go over and over and over multiple passes to get a strip of my hair straight and this is doing it in one pass. 
can't get quite as close to the roots as I want, but I mean, like, okay, here's a good curliness. This is crazy curly. I'm gonna go this way because it's gonna be easier. I mean, holy cow. I don't even have to be going back over it, but I am. Switch sides. Maybe I can do it with this glove. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it like so. This area, I would really like to get a little closer to my scalp. That's nah, not going to happen. I mean, yikes, there's like no frizz. My, my flat iron does not do this. Okay, I'm really surprised so far. Like, really, really surprised. I mean, really? Look how, look how straight that is. I have no, no frizz stuff in my hair right now. I have nothing. Okay, keep going. I mean, you guys can see, I'm not even being very careful or, like, precise about this. I can't get to this piece of hair. Oh, my God. Oh, this is a big fail. <laughs> I don't know, should I just be crazy and just go for the rest of it? I mean, usually it takes me five sets of layers with my flat iron. Now this is where, while parts of my hair are pretty straight here, they are also really frizzy. Ah, tangle. Dang damn it. There we go. Now I can see some of the curl up by my scalp that it's not able to quite reach. Oh, maybe I got it. So maybe that's the trick. You have to... Oh, I just hit the button, so let's see what I did. I turned it up. Let's turn it back down. Maybe that's the trick. Maybe you have to just hold it outwards. And get it. Just get it. Alright, now I'm just getting kind of crazy here. Oh, hit the buttons again. These buttons are horribly placed. I probably did grab a little too much hair this time, but that's okay. I'll get it all. Hit the buttons again. Can I get these bangs in here? I 
Let's get some of this out of the way. <laughs> Uh, too much hair. Smaller sections seem to work better. See this little wave? I'm trying to get it. It's right by my scalp. Well, I got a little bit better. You really can't, you just can't get all the way straight up into that scalp area. Alright, I've got one pass through all of my hair, I believe. I'm just gonna do a little, like, regular brush my hair kind of thing and see if that, like, finishes it off. Here we are, I have to say, I'm not super good at the flat iron anyway. I think this actually did a better job than my flat iron, particularly, so you see these couple of layers here, the ones that end like right around my chin and they don't go as long as the rest of my hair. So this is four years worth of growing out a pixie cut, a really messed up pixie cut. And this is like the last layer that has to get past my shoulders before I can then have a normal layered long haircut. And normally this is very floofy and I can't get it to lay flat. I'm, I'm impressed, I'm dumbfounded. Like I did this, really? I made my hair look like this. Well, yes I did. I sure did. It's pretty straight if you ask me. I'm gonna say this beautiful Femme Jolie straightening brush is magic. Definitely magic. I hope you enjoyed this myth or magic session and found it helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up below. Let me know what other products you would like me to run a myth or magic test on in the comments down below. Thanks for taking some time to hang out with me. Take care of each other. Have a good one. Bye-bye.